This is what your screen will look like when you're about to record something in NoteFlight for me. The very first thing you want to do is go to this record button. Now when you tap this record button, it won't start recording. It's going to open up this little menu right here. And in this menu, the first thing you want to grab is this. This is your input selection. So it's going to look at everything that's attached to your computer that could be a recording device. Um, I have a USB microphone attached and this audio interface, but by far the best results I've gotten are with the built-in microphone. So I'm just going to leave it at that. Now I'm going to go to Setup. Now Setup is going to test the level of that microphone and it's going to make a few adjustments. Don't skip this step. This is important. So we're going to go to Setup and it says uh, check your volume. So play as loudly as you will perform. So here I go. too loud. It does not like me. So I'm going to turn down a little bit and I'm going to try it again. Okay, I'm good. So now it's going to check the timing of my audio devices. This is for playback so that it plays back at the tempo that I'm going to record at so that we all are in sync and there's no latency. So you can hear a little tone here. Uh, yes, built-in microphone is a microphone. And yes, uh, put your headphones near the microphone. Um, I'm all set with that, just so that the computer can hear itself, because it's going to play a tone. There. That was easy. So now I'm ready. Okay, so if I hit this button here, I'm going to start recording. But I've got to decide what track I want to record. So right now I'm set up to record Guitar 1. If I wanted to record Guitar 2, I'd click here and move this little square. Uh, rectangle, if you want to get technical. So uh, rectangle is here, I could record Guitar 3. I'm going to get to, well, let's say I was going to do Guitar 3. I won't be able to see that Guitar 3 part down there. So I'm going to change the view, this page view. Um, I'm in page view now, so I'm going to go to strip view instead. Uh, this is pretty cool. I can see the entire thing all in one strip really nice. Um, I am now set up to hear just guitar one, but I want to hear guitar two and guitar. I want to hear these guitars. I don't need to hear this one. I don't need to hear guitar three. I'm going to play it. Um, finally, the metronome. I have the metronome on and I'm going to change the settings of the metronome. Instead of two measures of count in, I'm going to go with one. That's all I'm going to need. So now I've got all my settings done and I'm ready to record. Here we go. So there you have it. You just have to give it a second and all of a sudden it'll pop in. There I am, Mr. Abuse, and there's my part I've recorded. So I can listen back to it uh, by hitting play. I can turn off the other parts. You just hit stop and I'm just going to listen to me. I'll go back to the beginning here. And that's, that's just me. And if I wanted to turn on the other parts, I should be able to do that. I do have to start it over again, though. So there's me with the bass part. And you get to see how that works. So if you want to hear all the parts, you can put those on. So there it is. My recording is done. Now how to submit. I need to go to this Connect button over here. Now, this is where my screen looks different from your screen because you're a student. And if you're a student, you ha will have a submit button. I have a change button. But yours will be submit to Google Classroom. And once that's done, you're good to go. Your assignment is complete and you'll be able to reward yourself with a trip to the refrigerator. Okay, good luck.